Hello everyone, uh, this is another video on an interesting feature of Lambda function which is provisional concurrency, especially if you are more interested the, about the performance. If you want to increase the performance and reduce the latency, then provisional concurrency definitely help you by totally removing the cost task of Lambda function. What is the cost start? In brief, yes, the delay which happened with the first, very first invoke on the Lambda function. In this video, I'm going to show what is about professional concurrency and how we enable and implement using demo. Furthermore, I will cover a reserve concurrency, which is another part of the concurrency of the Lambda. Lastly, I will talk about the cost associated with the professional concurrency as the cost is cost always a matter. As usual, uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video and it would be really appreciated. Let's start. Quickly explain the life cycle of the Lambda function. Without knowing the life cycle, it's hard to understand the cold start and the provisional concurrency. As you can see, there are three main phases in a Lambda life cycle. The first one is the init, second one is invoke, and lastly is the shutdown. Let's talk about the init phase first. Inside this phase, AWS initializes any extension and setting up the runtime for Lambda function and it's initialize any code outside the handler function. I'll show you what is outside the handler function, any code in outside the handler function when you go to the sample Lambda function. Plus, as of course, the extension, I'll be covering the different video, what is extension and in very detail. If you go to the invoke, yes, invoke inside this phase, the your code is executed. And lastly, shut down where I shut down the runtime environment and close up or shut down the only extension attached to. Usually when the uh, when a request comes from the user, the init phase is triggered and then invoke. After invoke, the AWS waits some time for a subsequent request. If there are more requests, it's execute the execute the second request and use the same environment. Finally, no more requests come, it shut down the environment and clean up the resources. As I mentioned, the, uh, this init phase is happening only very first time and same environment is used for subsequent request. As there are many things happening in the inside the init phase and it's lead a delay to response to the user. So this is called, this is called call start. If you have a more codes mean more delay. To overcome this call start, we can use provisional concurrency. Simply what does it does, AWS will preset up the environment for the Lambda function. So even for the very first request, the invoke is executed immediately and the user gets response quickly without any call start. AWS doesn't shut down this environment if, we, if the provision concurrency is enabled, AWS doesn't shut down the environment. So you can define how many provision concurrency instance should be run up and running for a given time. Right, that's all about the theory. Let's go to a console and create a, a Lambda and see how we enable provision concurrency. Right, as you can see, I created a Lambda function with the Node.js. Feel free to use any supported languages as you wish because the concept is going to be same. Let's quickly go to the sample code. There are two console messages, one outside the handler function, as you can see, and one inside the handler function. So if I trigger the Lambda function using the test utility, we should see uh, these two messages. Let's uh, trigger one time. If I go to test, and click on one. Yeah, what you can see, uh, both console messages are shown. So the green color one come from outside the handler. The red color messages come from inside the handler function. If I trigger another time, theoretically, only the second messages should be shown. That is only the red one. Blue one should not show. Let's try again. If I click on again, as expected, we got only the second message. 
the reason is that second request is served by the same lambda instance. So let's see how we can overcome call start by implementing provisional concurrency. Even for the earlier we got the two message at the very beginning with the provisional concurrency what we're gonna say we should get only the one message which is inside the handler. We should ever and ever we should get the outside the handler for the user invocation. To implement a provision concurrency, you need to create a, a version and alias. Let's create a version and uh, see how we implement provision concurrency. Create a new version for this lambda. Go to the version tab and publish a new version. You can give a description as a which, description which is optional and uh, click on publish. Can see we got a, a new version, version number five. Now let's add a provision current currency on this on top of this version. Configuration tab, then concurrency tab. Now click on add, and which will give a page where you can configure your con provision concurrency. Over here we are creating concurrency on top of the version, not alias. Click on the uh, version and select the our version which is version number five and give it a how many concur provision concurrent instance you want to run so let's give a one and click on save and see uh, we got a uh, one provision concurrency it's a zero provision concurrency the one is in in progress this take a few seconds what we're going to do we once we it's ready we will come back and continue right uh, our one of the instance of provision concurrency is ready to use and I haven't triggered this lambda function since the provision concurrency is uh, enabled. Let's have a quick look on the CloudWatch log. If I go to the CloudWatch log, as you can see, uh, one of message which is outside the handler is shown here. This is due to one instance is up and running at the moment. Right, let's go to our uh, lambda. To lambda version 5 this is uh, specifically I am in a late, uh, lambda version 5 not the latest and using the test utility uh, we will trigger the lambda function without provision concurrency we should see two messages but with the provision concurrency we should see only one messages let's try uh, as we expected we got only one message which is handler function inside the handle function we do not get the we do not see the messages outside the handler function because the instance is already up and running we we are not getting the call start or in it uh, it doesn't run in its space in a usual lambda life cycle one important thing uh, regarding uh, with the with the provision concurrency if i go back to the CloudWatch log. So you see this init message time to time in the CloudWatch log. So it is not just a one time it's may see time to time in a cloud watch log in the future the that is because the ap aws is spin up a new instance and shut down the existing instance even with the provision concurrency is enabled so i'm uh, repurposing again repeating again aws is spin up a new instance and shut down the existing instance even with the provision concurrency is enabled but this will not cause for the user response because AWS will shut down the instance when once the new instance is up and running. It do not lead any call start on user invoke. Uh, so as you can see, provision concurrency, we can give a, a we can reduce the call start, we can remove the call start and reduce the latency, which give a great user experience. So finally, the cost. I'm using AWS pricing calculator. You can use the same calculator for your uh, different configuration. So if I go to pricing calculator uh, region, I'm selecting the Sydney and uh, architecture x86. So what I'm going to calculate a lambda cost with the provision concurrency. So let's talk about, let's see, uh, assuming this figure. So we assuming uh, 10,000 number of requests per day and each, each request uh, we assuming uh, three seconds 
with the 512 uh, RAM and the uh, Imperial uh, storage is 512 and with provision concurrency we are assuming running only one concurrency instance and the time of which provision concurrency enable let's say we are running eight hours eight hours uh, for whole month which is for 240 hours and number of requests provision concurrency same way 10,000 per day and uh, each request we are assuming three seconds with the 512 RAM. So based on that, what we get $8.83 USD for one Lambda function well, with the one concurrency. So if we increase the 10, let's say if we increase 10, um, 10 instances, assuming we are running 10 provisional concurrency instances, the cost will be $29 with with this configuration so you can change you can play around with the numbers as per your load as per your system and you can find how much you it's going to be cost per month uh, if we enable the provision concurrency yeah this is computer cost but it's it's good give a great experience for the user lastly not least a reserve concurrency reserve concurrency doesn't come with any additional cost like provision concurrency same time reserve concurrency doesn't remove cost start i'll give a, a scenario where reserve concurrency is useful let's say you have a function which is critical for your system then you can reserve some concurrency to a specific to a specific lambda function so other lambda function are not allowed to use those reserved concurrency as you can see in this image you can allocate 400 concurrency to function orange it doesn't share this 400 concurrency with other lambda function but the rest of the thing for example there are thousand concurrency per account all the rest of the lambda function share 600 but it doesn't use any uh, one of the 400 concurrency which is allocated to the function orange but one thing you have to remember, when the function orange is reached 400 concurrency, it is start to throttle. So it doesn't use any additional uh, or available concurrency within the account. Right, uh, that is pretty much on concurrency of Lambda function. Hope you got something out of this. Finally, uh, please like and subscribe. It would be really appreciated. Furthermore, if you have any question or comment, please comment below. I will get them as uh, needed. Thanks and see you in another video.